Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Lizzy Arts. So today we'll be reviewing Natasha Dinona Circle Logo Palette. This is a very colorful palette and this is how the palette looks like on the inside. With lots of colorful shades that you can use. So today I'll be doing four looks using this palette. I'll be doing four wearable looks that you can use every day. So this is the third look and this is the fourth look. Do keep on watching. I'll be posting all my four looks up. See you in a bit. First up, I'll be using the shade over here, Cotton Candy, as the base. I'll be doing a pink look on this eye over here. Next up, I will take the darker pink color joker over here and put it at the outer corner. I'll be bringing this color down to the bottom of my lids. Next, I'm going to take the shade Razzle Dazzle and put it at near the center of my eyelid. So this shall go near here, near the outer corner and towards the center of my eyelid. Could you see the pink sparkle? Next up, I'm going to brighten this up. I will be using the shade Aerialist. This is a very glittery and shiny formula. <laughs> So I shall place this near the inner corner, the inner half of my eyelid. Shall bring this down to the bottom corner at the bottom part of my lid, as well as the inner corner here. Okay, next up, to brighten up the look, I will use green and put it at the center part of the eyelid. Okay, I think I will, I will be using my little finger to pick up this color as it's not coming out 
so great on the brush Now I'm going to pick up this color and put it at the bottom of my eyelid. So this is how it looks like with the color green at the bottom part of my eyelid. Okay, so now for the other side of my eye, I'm going to do a blue look. Okay, so first I will take this shape over here, fun to mine, and use this as the base. This is a very nice creamy formula, a very nice light sky blue kind of color, such a lovely color. For the outer corner of my eye, I will be using Acrobat. This is a very nice teal color. Same thing, I'm going to bring this color down to the bottom of my lid Next, I'm going to use the color flip and place it near the center of my eyelid See what a gorgeous shape it is. It blends very well and pairs very well with the crease color that I put on just now. And the last step at the outer corner of my eyelid, I'll be using this snow cone uh, for the inner corner of my eyelid. I'll be using snow cone. This should be one of the most gorgeous shades in the palette. I will bring this down here. And just place this all over the rest of my lower lid. So this is the final look. Now I shall go ahead and add liner and mascara to both eye looks. I'll be right back. Here it is. This is the completed look. So I find both looks are very wearable. This is definitely more pink, more girly. It's very easy to wear for everyday look. And this one looks quite cool and glamorous too. I really like both eye looks that I do. Now let's go ahead and jump to the third look. Next up, I will be doing an orange eye on this side. 
I will be using firework as the base of my eye. I've already placed the color firework at this crease here. I shall add some more. And then next, at the outer corner of my eyelid, I will be placing this darker orange shade spiral. I'll bring some of this color down to the bottom part of my eyelid. And tie this color together. Okay, next up at the center part of my eyelid, I will be using the color green to brighten up this orangey look. I'm using the other side of my sponge tip. And at the inner corner of my eye, I will be using Aerialist to brighten up the inner corners. This aerial, this color is very shiny and sparkly. It's perfect in bringing out the inner corner of your eyelid. I will add some of this on the top part to bring out more shine. And then lastly, for this part, I will tie it up by using the color green again. So this is a very wearable orange lid. Okay, next up, for the fourth look, I'll be doing some of the colors, purple and some blues, dark blues that I have not used yet. Okay, so since it is a purple look, I'll be using magic and put it all over my crease. This is a very nice blendable purple. Up next, I will be using this act at the outer corner of my eyelid. So this is the final look. I'm sorry I've lost part of the footage because my phone camera just died. So basically, I used the color act at the outer corner of my eyelid. I'm going to rewind the steps. So 
so I'm gonna use that and place it at the outer corner of my eyelid and then next I use electric and pull it all over the center part of my lid so electric is a very dark blue color a very nice electric blue you can see that color coming through it's a very gorgeous dark blue and then next I simply go ahead and use snow cone and add that to the center part of my eyelid to brighten up the look this is how snow cone looks like it is a very nice shiny blue you can see the nice blue popping up the whole look I'm going to pop some of this color to the inner corner of my lid as well and then I'm going to use a small brush and I'm going to add this pop of snow cone to the bottom part of my lid I'm going to go back to add and then add this to the bottom part of my eyelid to bring out the whole smoky eye effect and run it together with the top part of my lid okay, so this is basically the look of look for so there you have it. I hope you guys enjoy my demonstration and tutorial of how I use the Soka Local palette. It is a very gorgeous palette and the looks that I come out with are actually quite wearable. And so this third look actually looks very similar to the first look I've done except now this is orange instead of pink. And this fourth look here looks like a more smoky version of the second look this is my favorite favorite look out of all the four looks do like and subscribe to my channel and do comment below and let me know which is your favorite look out of these four thank you guys do like and subscribe to my channel i will see you in the next video bye mm -hmm.